What's up everyone? My name is Marie and welcome to my channel and welcome to another speed build. So for today's video, I am finally back in the world of Sulani, which is of course the tropical island paradise that comes with the um, island living expansion pack. And today I'm building container homes on the beach. It's actually been a very long time since I've done a container build. I've done it before, but I usually do them in Evergreen Harbor, which is the world that came with the Eco Lifestyle pack. And that actually introduced, like that pack introduced container builds, essentially because it comes with like container wallpapers and floorings and like container doors, stuff like that. Um, that pack obviously is all about like being eco-friendly and uh, reusing uh, materials, stuff like that. Um, and that's basically what the container homes um, or like when they were introduced. And for some reason, I have never actually thought to build them here in Sulani on the beach or right by the beach. So that is what we're doing today. I thought that would be such a cool little thing to do. Like it's just so tropical and fun and um, I don't know, I just felt like it would go really nicely in this world, especially since all that wallpaper and stuff that we're using also comes in very, very vibrant, beautiful colors. Like it's very, very colorful. And I thought that that would go so nicely here uh, on the beach. So that is what I'm doing today. And I actually turned it into a residential rental, or at least that's what I'm like, um, that's what essentially why I built it so that you can turn it into a residential rental and you'll have multiple tiny homes or like multiple container apartments, I guess, um, on one lot. So that's what we're doing. And it's a total of six container homes. There are, I believe four, yeah, four of them, I think are tiny in the sense that they're literally just like one rectangular container. And that is turned into a small studio space with a kitchen and a tiny little bathroom. Um, and that could fit up to two Sims max, but then there's also two slightly bigger container homes. One of them has only one bedroom still, so that would still only fit up to two Sims, but it is a little bit more spacious compared to the literal like one container studio apartments, if you will. And then there is one larger container that has two stories to it. And that one has two bedrooms. And I turned that one into um, a two bedroom for parents and a child. So you could have a child in the two bedroom unit if you wanted to, which I thought would be cool. Um, but yeah, I thought it'd be so fun to like live with a bunch of Sims or like rent out one of these container units and then you'll have all your neighbors just like spending so much time outdoors essentially is what I was thinking. Um, there's a lot of, well, not a lot, but like I try to implement as many activities as I could. Actually, there are quite a few activities. Um, I didn't put in a chess table or anything, but we do have like a lot of loungers and we have yoga mats all around. We have two separate little swimming pools. Um, there is a grill outside. I, f I find that my neighbors, like whenever I play on a um, residential rental and I have neighbors living there too, my neighbors are always outside when there's a grill, at least once a day, but usually more than that, I'll find one of my neighbors out there grilling. It just, it happens every day. And it's actually kind of fun because that way you'll just see your neighbors walking around. And I just feel like it makes the gameplay so much more lively and fun. And I just really, really enjoy it. It, um, a lot. But here you can see that I am playing around with the color schemes for these residential rentals, like these containers. And I had so much fun with this. Usually I'm not really one for using very bright, vibrant colors. I like to use like maybe like an accent color here and there, but this one is very much all over the place. We have containers in every single color, pretty much that um, the uh, wallpaper allows us to do because of the swatches that it has. So I try to utilize as many of the swatches as possible and it's very, very colorful and I really like it. I did have like a reference picture for this, though it was more for the vibe than the actual shape of it all. It was so funny because it was so scary. It was almost like uh, AI read my mind because I went on Pinterest and I just looked up container homes knowing already that I wanted to build container homes, like a tropical version of it on the beach. And I looked it up and one of the first images was like this AI generated, you can kind of tell, right? When you look at 
like uh, an image of something, you can kind of tell these days when it's like AI generated, it has this like art style to it that uh, very much just screams like this was generated by AI. You probably know what I mean. So I found a picture of stacked containers, very colorful stacked container houses on the beach. It was literally exactly what I was looking for. It was actually kind of scary. So I took that as inspiration and then I just started building essentially, but it doesn't actually end up looking anything like the reference photo at all. Um, I also played around with platforms, as you can see here for the exterior, because I really wanted to have this like very modern look and feel to it, very contemporary, but I also wanted to really try to blend it in with the tropical world around it. So I really tried to find a mix and match between those two very different styles. And I think that the bright colors actually really helped me out with that. Um, because that immediately makes it look better here in Sulani because the bright colors, it just works here, especially because it's probably because there's just so many bright colors around. For one, the ocean, the color of the ocean is super vibrant and pretty. There's the green grass and uh, like shrubbery around. There's the yellow beach, like the sand and just all these different flowers and things. So yeah, I just, it just looks really good. And then I also wanted there to be like an open shared space that is like, you can kind of tell already, it's partially in a container, but I removed some of the walls. So it's like open and it has like a roof over it, but it is like an open area. And I use these um, bifold doors, as you can see as well. And I actually put a little bar in there, which I thought was so cute. So your Sims have a shared hangout space where they can kind of like hang out at the bar and just maybe host parties or little events, like e like invite their friends over from the island. That kind of a situation is what I was thinking. Like I said, there's also like a grill downstairs. We have a lot of loungers and yoga and um, actually, we do have a chess table. I ended up putting a chess table on this like balcony situation leading up to the pink container. I forgot about that, but yeah. I ended up placing a couple of awnings there too, which actually turned out really cool. I used those awnings from the, um, what's it called? Oasis Desert? Oasis Desert Kit, Desert Oasis. I'm not exactly remembering what the title of that one is. Um, it was one that I think we got last, well, not last year. It, it would have been October, 2022 or something. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe I'm mixing that up, but it was a kit that was free for a little bit there. Um, and it came with these really cool awnings that I used here because they fit perfectly, but you'll see that in a little while. And of course I had to incorporate some green roofs because um, I felt like that would just like break up the color scheme nicely because otherwise it'd be very, you know, containery if that makes sense. So I thought green roofs would make a lot of sense. It would make it blend in with the world a little bit better. And it's very eco-friendly. And I really thought that that was exactly what this build would be all about, like being very eco-friendly. I feel like the people living in this space care a lot about being eco-friendly and care a lot about cleaning up the island. That is actually something that came with this pack, with the island living pack as well, is where you can clean up the island. Cause when you first move to Sulani and let's say like a brand new save file, you'll see like little heaps of trash just spawning everywhere and your sim can go through and clean it up and as your sim continues to do that you like slowly but surely clean up the island and at some point you'll get a pop-up of the fact that you cleaned up the island and there's no longer like any plastic or trash spawning which is i feel like it's so wholesome and it's such a fun thing to do in sulani it's one of my favorite aspects it's really random but it's one of my favorite aspects of that pack actually um, but yeah, here you can see I'm playing around with the windows and stuff and I use these really big glass sliding doors for the front doors for all these uh, container homes and I really try to <laughs> find matching colors. Unfortunately, not all these doors and windows came in matching swatches to the container wallpaper colors that we have going on. That is pretty unfortunate, but it is what it is. I was able to find swatches that work nicely because they're all very neutral, the doors and windows and stuff. So it definitely worked out in the end, but I stuck to uh, mostly eco lifestyle doors and windows. You can see that I used a couple of different ones. I also used um, some windows from uh, Island Living, but for the most part, it is very 
eco lifestyle inspired, which is exactly what I was going for. And there you could quickly see that little awning that I was talking about. Of course, at the end of the speed build, we will jump into the game and I'll show you the build in real time. I also didn't include all the footage of me decorating all the container homes because it was very, um, it was a lot of footage. It was going to be a very long speed build. And for this one, I was like, it might be a little bit too repetitive because all the small or not all of them, but like most of the small container homes have basically the same floor plan and it would just be a little bit too repetitive. So I did, I think two of them off camera, the uh, gray and rusty red one here on this side underneath the pink container home. Uh, I did those off camera, but I will show you of course when we tour the build and then for the rest, I did decorate them all on camera. And then here I uh, I was just trying to blend in this lot with the surrounding area by placing a lot of debug like shrubs and plants and little trees and flowers. And I think that turned out really cool. Um, this is one of the lots that is actually not a waterfront lot. So this is not actually over the water, which makes it so that you can actually put a residential rental here because unfortunately you cannot build rentals on the lots that are actually over the water, which I feel like is so unfortunate. I still to this date don't understand why they did that. I'm still holding hope that it might have something to do with hotels coming to the game. Maybe there is going to be a different system for hotels, like a different build system for hotels or something. And that will be available on the water lots. But I don't know. That's just me hoping and manifesting. Like I have no idea. I don't know, but I feel like hotels would be so cool. Um, I do think hotels were in all the other Sims installments. I'm not sure if hotels ever came to the Sims 2. Maybe. If you know anything about that, please let me know. But that is something that I'm very excited about uh, potentially coming to the game. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know anything, but it's something I'm manifesting and still hoping to this day because I think it'd be so cool. Uh, but actually, speaking of packs, there is a new pack coming out this week in a couple days, the Crystal Creations. I'm very excited about it. I can't wait. I haven't actually really mentioned it, I don't think, here on the channel. So... Um, we might as well just take this opportunity to talk about it a little bit. It was something that I kind of saw coming because it had um, jewelry, it has jewelry making in it. And that is something that they kind of teased in the um, every like three or four months or so. The Sims will give us a little timeline of what is essentially coming to the game without actually saying what exactly is coming to the game. But they said it was going to be like a spark. I think it was it like a sparkling new stuff pack or something like that. And it had pictures of jewelry. So we were all kind of guessing what it would be. And a lot of people said probably something jewelry making related. And turns out we were right, but it's focusing on crystals, which is really cool. And I think that is so fun because we have all these crystals that you can actually collect in the game but then what are you actually going to do with them like there's not really anything you can really do with them some crystals i mean you can sell them and make money that way some crystals come with like mood perks and stuff like that you can like enable their uh mood like their aura or something i'm not exactly sure but there is something you could do with them in that regard but that's really it essentially but now we're getting a stuff pack where you can collect these crystals i think it's coming with a couple new variants of crystals too and you can actually turn them into jewelry or you can create beautiful like shapes and things out of the crystals themselves and i'm very excited about it also because it's probably going to come with a lot of really fun debug to use in builds because I imagine that all those different shapes and colors and variants of the crystals will probably be in the debug menu of the pack, right? So that gives us so many little decorative objects to um, work with and just clutter up your builds with. I'm kind of excited about that. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to get the pack. Also, I feel like the style, the build by style of this pack is gonna go really nicely with the um, Realm of Magic pack, which is fun because I don't actually really use that a lot. There's some items maybe that I'll use from time to time because they come in more neutral swatches, I wanna say. So that is something that I sometimes use, but for the most part, I barely touch Realm of Magic, which is a shame because it is a really pretty pack. Like the stuff that it comes with, it's very, it's not very versatile, but it is really pretty and it's really well made. And I just like that we're now getting a kit that or a stuff pack that from the looks of it is gonna blend really nicely with the Realm of Magic pack. 
And that's exciting because maybe I'll use the stuff more like together, like a little combination of those items. I think that'd be kind of fun. So I'm excited about it. If there's any specific like builds or room builds that you want to see with the new stuff pack that's coming out on Thursday. Sorry, I'm wiggling around because my foot is asleep. I don't know why that keeps happening. I must be sitting in a way where my foot just randomly falls asleep. I don't know what it is. I'm trying to like re adjust my position <laughs> so it goes away um but if you have any build or room build suggestions of things that you would like to see in combination with other packs or maybe just base game and the new stuff pack let me know what it is that you want to see and also let me know if you are thinking of getting the new stuff back and speaking of that i'm just going to implement a little shameless plug that i still have my creator code going on as well which is a code that you can use at checkout when you purchase any of the sims 4 dlc so also the new pack coming out on thursday you can use code simmery sims at checkout in the ea app or on the website when you purchase it and that will directly support me as a creator because i will get a tiny little cut of your purchase um, so it's not a discount code or anything but it is something that you can use to support me as a creator so if that is something that you're interested in i would be very very thankful um, again you can use code simmery sims at checkout um, and of course, thank you so much to EA for sponsoring the creator code. Um, Got to make sure I mention that as well. Um, yeah, here you can see we are furnishing the very first container home. And this was actually one of the slightly bigger ones. It is a one bedroom apartment, uh, but it is a little bit bigger. And the shape of it is not just a rectangle like the other like small container homes will be. So yeah, and I really try to take the color of the exterior of said container and bring that to the interior as well. Now, this specific one is made out of essentially multiple different parts of, of different containers. So it has different colors essentially on the outside. Um, but this more like teal color is what you can kind of see best from the outside so that's what i took and brought it inside and i think it's so cool because it really forced me basically to step out of my comfort zone and do something very very colorful on the inside like i said i like to use colors but mostly muted colors like pastels or darker versions of colors that are a bit more on the muted side of things um just as an accent but here I really went for, or I tried to go for those very vibrant colors that um, are pretty strong and um, kind of, you know, it kind of sets the entire tone for the room, for the space. And that was something that I'm not very comfortable with, but it was really fun. I always, Sulani, the world is, is really good for me in that sense, because it really makes me step out of my comfort zone almost naturally, which is a little weird, but it's probably because of the colorfulness of the world and the vibrancy of the world and the colors just like in the surrounding areas that make me want to use more colors, which is always fun because like I said, that doesn't always happen. Um, yeah, this, this apartment is still very small and I really try to use a lot of orange. You can see that I used orange in combination with teal um, orange in the wood tones mostly, not necessarily the color orange, though I do have some actual orange here and there as well, but it's mostly in the wood tones. I really like the tiny kitchen. It's so small, but I was able to make it work in the end and I'm so excited about how it turned out, especially with the platform. I wanted the uh, exterior, like the porch basically leading up to the container home. I wanted that to be the same level as what you would walk into inside the house, if that makes sense. So I played around with platforms a little bit and it actually made so much sense because this container home is basically an open floor plan and the kitchen kind of gets its own space this way because it's on a step up platform or, and the same basically goes for the living room because that's on a step down platform. So that actually worked out nicely. And here in the bedroom, I was trying to find a way to put in a bookcase because I didn't have a bookcase in this um, specific apartment yet. And I really want to have a, it's something that I get so weird about. I need to have a bookcase in my homes. I don't know why, because whenever I play the game, I do not actually find myself to be using the bookcases all that much. I do from time to time. And when I do have a bookcase, my Sims also autonomously will read a lot. So I guess that is nice. But whenever I'm building like a tiny house or a tiny apartment, I still have to find a way to put in a bookcase. 
that is just something that happens every time I build. So I really will try everything in my power to put one in. And I was able to find a spot in the bedroom. So that's where I put it. And then we also have a small four tile bathroom. All these container homes essentially have the exact same four tile bathroom. The only one I decorated on camera is the one I did in the first apartment. And then I literally copied and pasted it over to all the other apartments. And then I just swapped out some colors here and there, but that is what I did. Um, and we are now moving on to the second apartment. So this is one of those tiny ones that is basically a studio apartment, um, is what I would call it. So yeah, this one's orange on the outside and I didn't really want to copy over the exact same color scheme that I did on the other side because for that one, like, like you could see, I was using a lot of teal and then combined with orange. And then I'm essentially doing the same thing here too, but this one just gets a little bit more colorful across the board um, as it progresses, essentially. I think I also ended up using some light blue um, and maybe even some yellow. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I decorated these a while ago. I think it's almost two weeks ago at this point. So I'm really excited to finally be sharing this on YouTube as well. I was building this on Twitch for the most part. Another shameless little plug, by the way. If you're interested in me um, build, watching me build live or play the game live, uh, I do stream on Twitch four times a week. So um, if that's something you're interested in, my channel is always linked in the description box, but I am Simmery Sims on Twitch, so you can find me there. Uh, but yeah, I was decorating this for the most part over on Twitch and I had so much fun with it. Um, it was so fun to have Chad help me with picking out colors and stuff. And someone suggested the Murphy bed for this apartment, which I thought was so smart. I haven't used the Murphy beds in such a long time and it was perfect for this apartment because it's so small. So I put in a Murphy bed and it essentially comes with a bookcase attached to it if you want to. So that's what I did and um, that solved the bookcase apartment for, or the bookcase issue for me as well. And then, yeah, we just basically have this Murphy bed and it works really nicely. And I just quickly placed a bed. I like merged a bed into it to kind of see, to get a good look at the amount of space it would take when the bed is pulled down. Um, and actually it makes it so that you can't really have a coffee table in your living room because that would be in the way of the Murphy bed if you wanna pull it down. But I decided to place one anyway and make it so that if you end up playing here, you could just very easily essentially just drag it out of the way in gameplay. And then your Sims can pull down the bed and then once they um, put it back up, then you can put the, uh, put the coffee table back. So that's what I try to do. It's very simple, but um, yeah, it is a little thing that you would wanna do if you were to play in this, but I think that that would be kind of realistic if you had a Murphy bed that you would use daily. I mean, you're going to want to have a coffee table, right? Because it's just very handy to have one of those. So I feel like you would. Um, but yeah, you can see that I'm using a lot of very modern furniture uh, combined with more traditional looking furniture, mostly from the Island Living pack. I just really like that combination of styles and textures and I don't know, they're so different that they kind of look good together, if that makes sense. So that's what I was trying. And for this one, I say this every time, but I keep telling myself whenever I do these multi-unit lots, I'm like, I need to keep an eye on the clutter. I need to not clutter it up as much. Because if you want to play here, it's going to have all these very cluttered houses on one lot and it's going to be laggy and annoying. So I always try to tell myself to keep the clutter to a minimum but it never really works out. I always end up cluttering up my builds more than I intended to, but it's just so fun for me because all the little details and all the little colors, like pops of color in the clutter, it's just so fun, especially for more colorful builds like this. Um, this unit that we're working on now, on the other hand, is in its base, a little bit less colorful maybe. You can see that I'm using a gray blue-ish plaster on the inside or paint on the inside, which is the one that matches the exterior of this container home because it is a dark gray one. So I again wanted to try and bring the exterior color scheme to the inside and I decided to combine it with this very light wood and then bring in colors in the um, furniture. And this container home is the two story one. So it consists of this gray container, but also a yellow container up top. So I decided to combine gray and yellow together for 
the interior, and I think it turned out really, really cute. I definitely did repeat some items throughout these um, container homes, which I guess makes sense. They would all basically have the same kitchen, but maybe just in different colors. So that's what I did. Um, and I definitely repeated the furniture from Island Living throughout these little apartments too, because I just really wanted to use that furniture and there's only so much to use. So of course I repeated some of the items. But yeah, as you can see, I really tried to use a lot of yellow here in the furniture pieces to bring in that color and make it more colorful. And this um, couch here actually worked out so nicely. This is the sectional couch from, what's it called? Uh, Dream Home Decorator. And I love it because I like the color yellow, but I don't like bright yellow. I feel like, it, I don't know, it's just not really something that I really enjoy, but this more pastel, soft, muted color that I'm using for the couch was exactly what I wanted. And I could find, I found this rug, which this rug is actually from Parenthood. It's a rug, I don't think I've ever used this swatch of the rug, but it's so pretty. I did have to size it down a lot because that rug is huge. So I had to size it down a little bit, but it actually worked out nicely. And it's not a rug that I would normally ever gravitate towards, but because of these houses and how colorful they are and how just kind of like different they are, it makes so much sense. I could get away with that very colorful rug that in its base is yellow and matches the couch perfectly. So that was really, really nice. Um, and then here on the inside, I also found the space for a four seater dining table. I like these higher tables. This one in particular is from high school years. I like these higher tables with the slender looking bar stools, I guess, if that is a term I can use. Um, I like them because they're less bulky than a lower table with four chairs. It would take up the exact same amount of space, but for some reason this feels like it's smaller and it just looks less bulky and it looks like it takes up less space. And that was perfect because I only had a little bit of space to work with, um, of course, in this, uh, in this apartment. But then here we are moving on to the second floor of the apartment and I really tried to embrace that yellow color here in the parents' room. So I gave them a, a pastel or like soft yellow paint on the wall and they have this bed that is also from the dream home decorator pack so it essentially comes in that exact same yellow color for the um, duvet covers and yeah I just tried to be very colorful with all the furniture without it being overly headache inducing if that makes sense with all the colors and there is also a kids room here which is really small but I guess that's okay because these apartments are tiny they're supposed to be tiny but I was able to put in some toys here so we have this beautiful blue wallpaper I love this color blue it's so pretty it almost leans kind of teal it's very ocean blue um, and I combined it again, of course, with yellow and some hints of orange too. And as small as this room might be, I really like how this one turned out. I don't know why. It's probably because of all the colors. I've said it before, but blue and yellow, it's just one of my favorite color combinations of all time. It will always hold a special place in my heart. I love it so much. And then we have this beautiful decal on the wall that is from growing together. It's so cute, the little tree with a sloth hanging from it. I thought it would just be so perfect for this room. Um, but yeah, I wasn't able to put in a whole lot of toys here. So maybe you wanna put some extra toys outside, maybe some play equipment outside. If you do end up playing here with a kid, then um, that is something you could obviously always do. But these uh, container homes or this specific container home has this little balcony out front. So I just put a small dining table there and um, I felt like that looked really cute. And then this is that pink container home that is on top of the one or the two small container homes that I didn't end up recording. But this is the pink one and I love how this one came together. This is Barbie vibes across the board. It's like, it's boho Barbies container home. That's exactly what this is. It's pink and purple and it has some other colors to it. And it's just, it's very, very cute. Actually, you know what? Out of all the container homes, I think this one might be my favorite. I love it so much. I'm using this bed from the um, Island Living stuff pack. And I don't think I've, or expansion pack, it's not a stuff bag. I don't think I've ever used this bed. It's the bed with the duvets that are purple and pink and it's just so cute. I've, I've never been brave enough to actually use this swatch of the bed. 
And I think it looks so adorable, especially with all this pink. And at first I was not sure if I was gonna use it because I was like, yikes, pink and purple, that might not be the way to go. But then I just embraced it and I went for it and it looks so, so cute. So we have this bed. This is the same layout as the orange container home, except I didn't use a um, pullout bed. What's it called? Uh, Murphy bed is the word for it. Oh my goodness. Uh, I didn't actually use that in here. I used a regular bed. So these people or this person in this container home does not have a um, couch or anything, but they do have a bed. And I do believe Sims these days can actually lie down on the bed and watch TV. Isn't that a thing they can do these days? Ever since I wanna say high school years? I'm not exactly sure. I might be mixing up the um, animations and things that came to the game recently, but I believe that's the thing, but I might not be, I, that might not be true. If anything, they'll still be able to watch the TV. They'll probably just sit on the bed and look sideways awkwardly, or they'll just stand there. <laughs> that's also a possibility. But I do feel like as well that the Sims living here would probably be spending the majority of their time outside, right? Just wander off to the beach, hang out on the beach, in the beach, on the beach would be better. Um, and like swimming in the ocean, stuff like that. I think your Sims would be spending all their time outside. They would probably do most of their cooking outside too, just like using the grill, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, these apartments are small, but it makes sense. Oh, and then I found this rug. That rug is from the pastel pop kit. And my God, it's perfect. It's a little bit much. I can totally understand if that is not your vibe. It's a little bit much compared with what's already going on in this apartment color scheme wise and also pattern wise really. But I just thought it would be, it was so cool. And I was really embracing the pink Barbie vibes, the pink and purple. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go for this rug. I'm just gonna use it. And I'll probably be able to get away with it too. And I really like how it came together. So here I'm just putting some clutter in the kitchen. I made sure to utilize the island kitchens as well. Turn that into a little study nook or office space. Um, so there is a small laptop there. And then we're moving on to this bar area, which I think is so, so cool. So this definitely has more of that um, reused and recycled kind of like island living reclaimed wood type of a vibe, you know what I mean? Like essentially just the stuff that comes with the Island Living pack. So I was using a lot of that here. I really wanted to try and make it very boho as well. So I use a lot of plants and I try to use candles wherever I could. Um, and this bar is actually functional. I created a sneaky little side entrance as you can maybe see from the front of the house. The bartender is going to have to be really careful there, but they can essentially just walk over the roof and then there is a small archway uh, leading you to behind the bar essentially. So it is functional, your Sims can get there. It's a little tricky though, and you might not wanna stumble and fall down. I tried to put a half wall across that like teal or green roof, but it just didn't look good. So I decided not to do it in the end. Um, it's aesthetics go up before anything else, right? It's just, it's all about the aesthetics, not the safety, it's it's fine. Um, but here I am placing down some more seating and stuff. We have some um, couches here out front by one of the container homes, like a little seating area. There's a lot of little seating areas around on this lot because like I said, I feel like the Sims would just be spending all their time outside. They would wanna hang out outside. Um, lounge outside, read a book outside, do their homework, you know, so I try to put in as many little couches and chairs and love seats as possible. Um, I also put in a couple of picnic benches, so we have that. And then of course, just a lot of plants, not only the landscaping, but also just potted plants everywhere. Um, and some floaties in the pool, of course, I had to do that too. Um, and then for other activities, I also put in gardening, actually. I ended up putting a couple of gardening, um, like planter boxes and stuff like that. No flower arranging table or handiness table or anything, because I didn't really like how it looked. So that's why I didn't, <laughs> I didn't put it in. But if you want any of those objects, I feel like there's a lot of space around here. You could still find a way to fit it in and make it all work together. It's, it's definitely possible. Um, but here in between the pools, we have this really cute area that is basically underneath an awning. Um, it's underneath like a walkway, really, that's that's above. So um, that's a nice area where you could even hang out if it's raining outside, like a tropical rainstorm or just like 
a little bit of rain, it doesn't have to be a storm, then you could still sit there and hang out and um, just, you know, enjoy the weather, maybe like enjoy the rainfall a little bit. And then here I placed some planters, try to blend it in with the little planter pots um, that I placed there that are just decorative. I tried to like blend that in a little bit and it kind of worked out. And I also put a yoga mat there. And then here in this corner by the staircase, I thought that would be the perfect little corner to put an outdoors kitchen. So, well, outdoors kitchen is just a grill, but it's that really fancy looking grill. So I placed that one in the corner there and your Sims can do some cooking, some grilling out there as well. And then here, this is the back of the lot. So I placed this really cute, uh, what's the word for it? Is it a canopy? I'm not exactly sure if that's what you would call this this thing that I placed with the curtains, but I'm calling it a canopy. So I, I put another little seating area back there and then some loungers. Um, and then in this small area with the, um, the white container wallpaper, I just, I wasn't sure what to do with it, but I ended up putting a little shower slash locker room. So you don't have to go all the way up to your house if you wanna get dressed, if you wanna wear your um, your swim clothes, if you wanna change. Um, I know the door is glass, so changing, you know, but it is what it is. I feel like it's too Lonnie. Sims don't really care about that here. Um, and then we also have some showers. So your Sims can actually just like rinse off real quick before they hop in the pool or rinse off real quick after they've gotten out of the pool. Uh, so that's cool and functional as well. And then here we have their own private little beach where I place an umbrella and some other loungers and stuff. And also that in the ground grill situation from the Island Living Pack, which I think is really cool. And then here on the balcony thingy, I also placed a chess table. I thought that would be a fun thing for your Sims to do. And of course, some additional plans and just uh, little areas for them to sit and hang, hang out. And that's essentially it. So let's jump into the game and I'll show you the lot in real time. So here we have the container homes in the game. I feel like they blend in with the world pretty nicely. And they have their little beaches. There's a beach back here. There's a beach on the side here. It is such a dream to actually live here. I would move here in a heartbeat, honestly. So yeah, we have a lot of landscaping going on. There's a cute swing set here as well, which I thought blended in so nicely. And then of course, uh, all the outdoor stuff here. It looks very lively and of course, very colorful as well. So your Sims can just hang out here. They can swim in the pool. They can hang out down here or do some yoga. And then out back on this side, we have this uh, hangout area over here. We have the locker room and the showers in here as well, which I thought was really simple but cute. Um, and then some yoga, of course, and the grill in the corner. So there's lots of activities. And up here is that bar space. So there's a bar, a dining table, and then a little lounge area over here. And this is that little area where your Sims can actually get behind the bar. So they would have to step up this platform here and then go through this archway and then they're behind the bar. And you you probably don't want to fall off this spot here, so be careful. You've been warned. But let's go inside. So this essentially is the first container home. It's on the larger side, but still only has one bedroom. So you can see that it's very colorful on the inside. They have their little coffee bar here and their tiny kitchen, but it is functional. So it's, it's everything your Sims need, really. And then, of course, this beautiful four tile bathroom that I repeated for all the homes. And then over here is their living room space, which is nice and cluttered and again, colorful. I used a lot of this frame TV in all the apartments, not all of them, but I use it a couple times because it just comes in this perfect leafy swatch that just really works here. There's a small dining table in the corner and then their bedroom over here, which essentially just color scheme wise blends in with the rest of the house. A dresser with some games and some knickknacks over here. And they have a beautiful sliding door that leads them right on to the beach, which is kind of insane. And then next to it over here is that orange studio apartment. So it's really small, but it has a nice spacious kitchen actually, which also can be used as an office, a small dresser. And they of course have their Murphy bed over here. I love this rug in here, shape and color wise, it's absolutely perfect. And whenever you wanna use or pull out this bed, you're just going to have to quickly go into build mode and drag this coffee table out of the 
away, but I feel like that's not too much of a hassle. You can always just delete it and call it a day if that's easier to. Then let's go upstairs to the third apartment. So they have a staircase leading up to their front door here and they have a little balcony out front where I just put a simple dining table. Then going inside, we have um, my playtester sim, Penny Pizzazz. She is watching TV. She is always watching TV, but there is a small table, a four seater table and a bookcase. We have this beautiful yellow seating area over here. And then through this archway is the kitchen. This kitchen's definitely more on the simple, less cluttered side of things, though they do have this little corner that's filled with decorations. But yeah, it's a nice and functional kitchen. And then going upstairs, we have two bedrooms. This is the parents' room, which is nice and yellow, of course. There are dressers over on this side. And then this is the kids' room, which is very colorful. It has a toy box and a blarfy. If you wanted to add more toys, you would probably want to do that outside, but there is a lot of space outside. Then moving on to the pink container home, which is across this very cute little walkway with a beautiful view and a chess table. This right here is the pink container home, which I think is my favorite. It's the same layout as the orange one, just different colors, different furniture, of course. This rug and this bed, it is such a classic combination. I love it. It's, it's very colorful, but I like it. They have their uh, small dresser and TV, and then of course their kitchen slash office space as well. I was able to fit a small bookcase in the corner here, and then they have this small bathroom. And then downstairs, we have two more units that I actually did not end up recording. So we have this gray black one over on this side. This floor plan is slightly different. I wanted to try and do something else. So I have a closed off kitchen here, which is really simple again. Um, and then this archway leads you into the rest of the apartment. And these also don't have an official living room. They just have a bed, but I guess that's okay. I really like the color scheme in here. It's a lot darker and maybe a little bit less colorful, but I like the gray and black combined with a lot of blue and that orangey like dark wood as well. And they have some island counters back here, which is actually very convenient for eating, but also um, for like a desk space here. And then again, a bathroom. And then I have that exact same layout over here on this side in the red container. So you can see that this one again is a lot more colorful. They have the same exact kitchen and the same exact layout. I kept the clutter to a minimum for these ones. As you can see, I really tried to keep these simple. This rug looks really good in here, I feel. But that is basically it for this build. So these beach container homes are up on the gallery as a six unit residential rental. I did divide all the apartments into separate units for you if you wanted to use it in that way. I built it on a 40 by 30 in the world of Sulani. So if you want to place it in your game, then that is where it goes. But that's going to do it for today's video. So I really hope that you enjoyed this one. You can obviously go ahead and download this build off the gallery. Like I just showed you, my username on the gallery is Suri Sims. You can also follow me on Instagram, Threats, and on TikTok if you like. My username on there is Simmery Sims as well. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, feel free to do so. And if you would like to get no notified of every single time I upload a video, just click that little bell icon and you should be fine. I also live stream over on Twitch a few times a week. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and give me a follow over on twitch.tv forward slash Simmery Sims. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.